In this video, we're going to look at adding an additional domain controller to our current configuration. For this lab, you will need to turn on all VMs. Uh, we'll be doing a couple different things during the lab. The first thing we want to do is make a copy of the master image that we made earlier. So we're going to right click on master and we're going to click clone. And we're going to create a full clone. Actually, we'll create a linked just to save us some disk space. And we're going to call this one DC2. And I'm going to store it on our solid state drive. And finish. All right, so DC2, we're going to edit our virtual machine adapters and make sure you're connected to your uh, network that we made for our PFSense LAN. Since the last video, I've actually had to change the network. For your video watching purpose, it should still be the same as how you configured it earlier. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. All right, so once that's booted, we're going to go ahead and click Next on our setup. Accept the license terms. Create us an account. And we're going to log on using that. Uh, the admin account was already set up from previous before we did sysprep. We can see we're connected to the correct network. We're getting the right IP scheme. First thing I want to do is go in here and turn off IPv6. And we want to statically assign the adapter. And it's going to be a 172. Dot sixteen dot zero dot C D C one was dot two. I believe dot three is open because we planned for this originally. Our subnets two five five two five five two five five dot zero default gateway one seven two dot sixteen dot zero dot one. And preferred DNS, we can set it as 172.16.0.2 and 172.16.0.1 for this one. And then we're going to go into control panel here. Let's pull up system. And we're going to change the name of this guy to DC2. And we're going to go ahead and join it to the domain. Use your administrator credentials. All right, so we're now joined to the domain. It's going to ask to restart. We're going to go ahead and reboot it real quick. Once it comes up, we're going to log in and go to server manager. And I'm going to log in as the domain administrator. So once the computer started up here, we're going to go to local server and go to manage, add roles and features. Here we're going to click next. Click next on role based. We've already selected the server. Choose Active Directory Domain Services. Click Add Features. Click Next. All 
and click install. Alright, so now we can click promote the server to domain controller. And we're adding it to an existing domain. And the domain is lab.local. So we'll go ahead and click next. And we'll go ahead and type our password. If you wanted to, you can make this a read-only domain controller and uncheck these other options. But we're going to leave DNS and global catalog. Go ahead and click next. Click next on this DNS error, that's fine. All right, so you receive this warning that the computer is about to restart. So it's going to take a little bit longer than normal for the login screen to appear. While that's coming up, let's go back to our first domain controller. And open up Active Directory Users Computers. So under domain controllers, you can see we have two computers listed now. So it's probably just going to be another minute or so, and then we'll be able to log in. All right, so we're at the login screen. So we're going to open up Active Directory Users and Computers from DC2, as you can see. And I'm just going to create a new user to show that replication is working between the two. All 
All right, so we've created it on DC2. Let's go back to DC1, go back to users. And then here in just a moment, we should see the test user that we created appear. And before I do that and refresh again, let's go back to DC2 and I'm going to turn off the firewall for this lab. I'm going to make sure that we are able to ping DC1. We are. I'm going to reboot DC2 one more time. Let's go ahead and log back in. So there's test one on DC2. Let's see if it's now replicated over to DC1. All right, so back over on test one, our DC1, we have our test1 account. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and real quick create another user, test2 from DC1. And let's see if it shows up. There it is. So <clears throat> the replication is now working. I did pause the video and reboot DC1. I think there was just a problem on the VMware side with my configuration. It, I moved the virtual machine from a shared instance to a local, and for some reason the properties for the network adapter hadn't updated. So that's why we didn't immediately see the replication. So it's also set up the DNS role on our DC2 machine. So if you pull up DNS, oops, wrong one. You have DC1, but you can also oops, DC2 is the one I'm meant to be on. Windows hasn't indexed all of the uh, new tools yet, so I'm going to go through the server manager, go to tools, and then you can see our DNS server, DC2, got all our DNS records, forwarders copied over from uh, DC1, so it's the same forwarders. So that's pretty much all there is to setting up a additional domain controller in the same forest. In the next video, we're actually going to look at um, setting up SharePoint server. And in the following video, it'll be the Office Online server. So those it's kind of getting us off track from the server 2016 installing and configuring a little bit more advanced. 
and after we get done with the off or the SharePoint and the Office Online server, we're going to take a look at Exchange 2016. So those are three videos that are coming up that should be interesting. Stay tuned.